A boy stabbed in Raytown. Police are looking for the person who carried out that attack. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan is live outside the home where it happened. And Charlie, what do we know? Cynthia, I've spoken with neighbors out here in Raytown who told me that at about 7.15 this morning, a boy ran out of this house behind me holding his right hand, which had obviously been stabbed. We have some cell phone video from a different neighbor we can show you now, and he counted eight police cars, an ambulance, and a fire truck on this normally quiet block. We're here uh, near 79th and Hunter Avenue in Raytown. Now, I did speak with the neighbor who called 911 after all this. She said that the little boy told her that his grandfather had stabbed him. She said that the boy uh, explained that he was joking around with his grandfather this morning, and then all of a sudden he stabbed him. Now, that woman who called 911 described the little boy as hysterical. I opened the door, saw a little boy there with his arm wrapped up and saying his grandpa tried to kill him and, was, and stabbed him in the arm, and he needed help. And then he kept going, why did my grandpa try to kill me? Why did my grandpa do it? Raytown police have not confirmed the exact relation between the suspected stabber and the uh, victim, that 12-year-old boy, but they say that those two people are related. They say their suspect left the house, and at this point, no one is in custody. That 12-year-old at the hospital in serious condition. Now, ahead at 1130, we'll hear from the woman who rode in the ambulance with that 12-year-old on the way to the hospital. Hear what she had to say about this whole experience in about a, a half hour. For now, reporting live in Raytown, I'm Charlie Keegan for 41 Action News.